Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Being a seller, if you have opted for merchant fulfillment option, then you may need to pass on some information to Amazon. And stock level is one of that kind of information. Here, seller will need to update their stock levels to Amazon on a regular basis as failing to this may affect their seller ratings as well. In today's video, we will learn how you can export your FBM products stock to Amazon using this connector. Before we jump to the actual operations, let us understand the configuration that needs to be ensured. So here I am on my Odoo database wherein I'll go to Amazon module. I'll go to configuration, settings, I select the seller and under the FBM tab, I'll see an option called fulfillment latency. So this fulfillment latency will decide or set the expected delivery date to Amazon order. Now this fulfillment latency in Odoo can be set at three levels. The first one is in the inventory module. The second one is in the Amazon product level and the third one is the seller level here. Now, if I have set up fulfillment latency in all these three layer, then first system will consider the fulfillment latency which is set at the inventory level, in Odoo's inventory level. The second will be considered which is set at the Amazon product layer and the third one is this one that is Amazon seller layer. After this, if I'll go to Amazon Marketplace, I'll see an option called Stock Type, which is having two options. The first one is the free quantity and the second one is forecast quantity. So if I select free quantity, then system will export the stock, which is available to be fulfilled, like the free quantity. And if I select the forecast quantity, then system will also select and it will also consider the future incoming as well as outgoing shipment and accordingly it will update quantity on Amazon. Now here under the order section, I'll see an option called FBM warehouses and FBM warehouse. So this FBM warehouse is the default warehouse wherein the order will be imported and the stock level which, which is there in this specific warehouse that will be exported to Amazon. But if a seller is managing multiple warehouse and uh, apart from this warehouse, the default one, the seller also want to export stock from their other warehouses as well. So they can select the multiple warehouses here. So whenever a stock export operation is being executed, system will consider the stock of this warehouses in, as well and it will sum up the stock of all warehouses and accordingly the stock levels will be exported to Amazon. Now, once I have done this configuration, I'll go to Amazon product. Now, say for example, in my warehouse, I have a 500 quantity for a specific product. I also sell on multiple marketplaces and e-commerce platform. So I might not want to export my all 500 quantities in Amazon only. So if I want to export only a specific quantity say for example out of 500 i want to export only 100 quantity to amazon then that possibility is also there so if i go to amazon product layer i see an option called fixed stock type which will which will allow me to export a specific value or specific percentage stock to amazon so once i have set up this information and i want to export stock then i have two options to export my stock to Amazon. The first one is using the manual intervention and the second one is using the schedulers. So first let us understand the manual operation. So I can select the product. If I want to update stock only for few specific product, selective product, I can select this product here and if I go to action, I see an option to update stock in Amazon. So this execution will export stock of these two product to this marketplaces. Now, if I want to update stock for the one or more marketplaces, but for all the product, not for the selected product, then I can go to operation, select seller, FBM. Here I find an option called export stock 
and here under the marketplaces field i can select one or more marketplaces to which i want to export my stock so this execution will export stock for these two marketplaces for all the product now while system is performing this ex this stock export execution it will consider only those product in which there is any latest stock movement is found so say for example if you are having 100 products but stock movement is done only in few products say for example in 20 products then system will update stock only for those 20 product because the rest 80 product stock has already been updated and after the update has been done there was no any stock movement found but this feature is available only in uh, the version 13 or a latest version so this is the manual operation now if i want to automate this process and i want to set up a scheduler i can go to sellers select the seller fbm scheduler there i see a scheduler called auto export stock which will allow me to set up some interval using which system will export stock automatically so here i have set up to export my stock every four hours from odoo to amazon so this is the automatical option now once i have exported my stock in amazon and if i want to see whether the stock export operation went successful or not then i can go to logs fed submission history there i will see a fed submission history as well as fed result so if the export operation was successful then also i'll get a get a message if there was any discrepancy i'll get a message for that too so using that message i can take some corrective actions and i can reperform this operation so this was the case when a merchant is managing their inventory at their warehouse now there can be also a case when a seller is using 3PL service or they might be doing drop shipping so if they have a 3PL provider then they can uh, configure their 3PL providers warehouse in Odoo and there where that warehouse they can set up here in the configuration but if they are doing drop shipping then currently this connector doesn't support the drop shipping option but there is a feasibility to customize this option as well for this you can contact me pro support team so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed watching thank you for watching